Hello everyone, my name is Evo and welcome to Cooking with the Koyas. Today we are going to cook veal chops. I'm going to share my version of veal sofrito. And look at these beautiful veal chops I have right here. I have two veal chops right here uh, that I'm going to cook up today. Let's get started. For this recipe you can use two, three, or four veal chops. You want your veal to be about between a pound and a half and two pounds. These come to a, a pound and a half so that's perfect. <laughs> Now, I'm going to start with some semolina flour. Now, if you do not have semolina flour, you can uh, substitute with all-purpose white flour. And basically, all you want to do is put a coating of flour on both sides of your veal chop. Okay, just do that. Make sure it's all covered nicely. There we go, just a light coating, just like that. All right, and we'll take our other veal chop. Oh, these are beautiful chops, nice and thick. Gorgeous. They're going to cook up so nice, I can't wait. Okay, so same thing here. Flour on both sides. Okay, simple enough. Now let's head over to the stove. In our pot, we are going to add some olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. And again, you want to generously coat the bottom enough to ensure that the entire bottom of your pot is coated with oil. All right, extra virgin olive oil is in, heat goes on medium high. So what we're gonna do is we are just going to lightly saute these veal chops on both sides just till they're uh, light brown. And if you noticed, we did not season these yet with salt or pepper, we're gonna do that afterwards. So let's just bring this up to about 350 degrees and start frying. Okay, 350 it is. Time to put the veal chop in. There we go. Uh, it's a little tight to put both in at the same time. They're both gonna go in eventually, but I think for this step, we'll just do one at a time. And all you wanna do here is about a minute per side. That's all. You just wanna get a little bit of browning happening on your veal chop. So let's give it about a minute, and then we will uh, we'll turn it over. In fact, I could drop the heat down even to just about medium. So it's been about a minute, close enough. Let's give that a turn. There you go, that's what you wanna see right there. You just want that nice little bit of browning to happen. It gives the veal a bit of a head start with this recipe and uh, we're gonna give it another minute on the other side. All right, it's been about a minute and again, you can't, you can't go too wrong here. If you look at the other side, it's just, just slightly browned. If you go more than a minute, it's perfectly fine. You just want to, uh, to see some browning on the veal chops, that's all. So let's get the second one in there. There we go. And we will give that one a minute as well. Time to give it a turn. There we go. All right, that should be done too. Let's take a look at the other side. Perfect. All right, so that comes out actually Let's put that on low right now. So this veal is going to come out. Okay, so now what we're going to do, I minced up uh, one garlic clove and we will put that in there. We're going to cook the garlic. Again, it's on low right now. We're only going to cook that for about 30 seconds. We just want to flavor that beautiful extra virgin olive oil. So while that's cooking, I've got three mushrooms here. You could use three or four mushrooms. Uh, as you wish. These ones are rather big, so I'm just gonna go with three mushrooms. So I'm gonna cut them in half. In go the three mushrooms. I have four sun-dried tomatoes here. Again, you could use three or four. In go the sun-dried tomatoes into the oil. I have one bay leaf. The bay leaf is gonna go into the oil. Uh, I've got some thyme here, and I'm going to use about a half a teaspoon of thyme. Just put about a half, roughly a half a teaspoon in there. There we go. Uh, if you don't have thyme, you don't need it, that's optional. Okay, and I'm just going to now mix those all around. What you want to do is just get that extra virgin olive oil uh, infused with some of these flavors here. So we're going to give that about, just about another 30 seconds. Okay, now we're gonna add, I have here two thirds of a cup 
of my homemade wine vinegar. Add it slowly, be careful. Make sure it doesn't splash. There we go, okay, good. Now, if you don't have homemade uh, wine vinegar, of course, just use a regular store bought and it's red wine vinegar, two thirds of a cup, that's what you're gonna want. Then, next you're gonna add some beef broth. If you do not have beef broth, then I would suggest using chicken broth as an alternative. But I am using beef broth today, um, low salt version, because I want to control the amount of salt uh, that I put into this particular dish. So it's two cups of beef broth. All right, that goes in. So now I'm gonna put the heat up, back up to medium high. I want to bring this to a boil. So while this is going to be heating up, we don't waste any time. We're gonna season our veal chops. So I'm now gonna take this opportunity and season with salt. So here you do salt to taste. Okay, and I'm also gonna add a little bit of black pepper. Again, black pepper to taste. If you don't like black pepper, don't use it. You don't need it, but you do definitely need some salt. And because the broth is not salted, you need to make sure that you put enough salt on your veal to be tasty. Okay, that is enough. Now, quite simply, we take our veal chops and we're gonna add them into the pot. Put the mushrooms on top, we want the veal chops on the bottom. Somehow I gotta fit this second veal chop in there. Uh, maybe that way. It's just gonna fit. There we go, look at that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna make it. So now, what we do is put the lid on. That's it, you, that's all the hard work. If you wanna call that hard work, that's it. Uh, I'm gonna just put it down to uh, medium and we're gonna simmer that for 30 minutes with the lid on and then we're gonna take the lid off for the next 30 minutes. So it's been about five minutes. I just wanna take a look at it. You can see we've got a nice boil going here. That's what you want. And our veal is more or less submerged. Um, if you have a bigger pot, if you want, you can turn them every so often, but I'm just going to leave them right now. I'm only gonna turn them once. So I'm gonna leave them this way for the first half hour with the lid on and then I'll flip them. Okay, so it's been a half an hour. And as you can see, I didn't, I, I wasn't happy with how they fit in that original pot, so I changed pots. <laughs> I just took a minute and I just took the veal out of that pot and I put it into this pot along with all the juices. So now that it's been a half an hour, I can turn the veal. Okay, we're just gonna turn it now and we're gonna let this simmer for another half an hour and I'm gonna keep the lid off just to kinda, I mean, thicken up the gravy, lose some of the gravy just a bit. So I'm gonna leave it now, lid off, put it on medium low and just let that kinda simmer now for 30 more minutes. This is going to be absolutely delicious. Okay, there we have it. Actually, it's been a little bit more than a half an hour. The time has gotten away on, on me a little bit, but that's okay. Look at this is gonna be so tender and tasty. It has cooked up nicely. The gravy has, um, I'm not really thickened up, but we've lost a fair amount of it, which is good. And now we're gonna plate it. One real tasty veal chop right there. Oh yes. We're gonna be eating good tonight, folks. Oh yes, so tender and tasty. These are going to be very, very good. So we're gonna take a little bit of that gravy and oh yeah, just put that on. And we're also going to put a little bit of gravy on the table and serve this with the gravy as well so that you can add a little bit more to your own plate. Just take a look at this beautiful, feel right there. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so tasty, so tender and full of flavor and you saw how easy this was to come together. It, it takes minutes literally to get it going and then about an hour to cook and you're gonna sit down to a nice meal. That's what I'm gonna do right now. 
I'm going to have Laura come up and surprise it with some beautiful veal sofrito evil style. Hope you get a chance to try this recipe. It's absolutely delicious. And until next time, bon appetito.